Yeah, look, as someone of Ukrainian heritage, um, when this whole thing started, uh, I felt that, you know, our association really had to step up and, and do, you know, the best it could to help these DPs that were coming to start a new life in Australia. Um, it, it's an enormously large task, it's difficult, but there are lots of people in, in the community that, that are willing to help. Some of them have taken time off from work for a couple of months to, to really, you know, allow themselves the time to, to do this kind of thing. So I'm finding it incredibly rewarding to be able to participate and, and help organise this whole effort. And yeah, you, you really find yourself just unconcerned with your own life. You just put it on hold and get on with doing what needs to be done. So uh, it, it means a lot to all of us. And, and we, we, we get support from people uh, in Australia who aren't Ukrainians and who just want to help. And it, it's, it's always remarkable to me how willing they are just to, to throw in and, and go the extra mile for for Ukraine, you know, a country many of them, you know, wouldn't have been able to explain where it was six months ago. Look, that'll make a big difference. I mean, we've been told a number of times now by people who have been involved in these sorts of activities with Afghans and Rwandans and other associations, they've said, look, simply you'll find after a while you're not going to be able to keep this sort of pressure up, no matter how willing you are to give, you're going to find that families and you know your own personal health and other things will start to, to fall apart. So you're going to need full-time people to pick up a lot of this workload. And I can see it in, in people around me. Recently I spoke to a fellow, I asked him how he was, he said, I was a much nicer person two months ago. And, and it's that sort of thing that, that, that is happening, that um, you do find yourself just, just stressed out too much and, and you, you just snap at the wrong time kind of thing. Look, getting the bequest from Be Kind Sydney for a full-time person makes an enormous difference to the community. Uh, so much of the things we need to do uh, right now are falling between the cracks because people simply don't have the time or the energy to follow up on the details. So having a person that's dedicated to this full-time is, is going to mean that we can be a far more effective lobby, we can integrate our services far better with SSI and STARTS and the other agencies that are involved in helping settlement services.